Welcome to A Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In today's class, we will talk about quantum physics past paper question. And this is fifth video on this topic. In this lesson, we will explore more concepts from this chapter with the help of past paper questions. For this question, it is given to us that light of wavelength lambda is incident on a metal surface and work function of metal surface is given that is equal to phi. And photoelectrons of maximum kinetic energy, here E max is used for maximum kinetic energy. Photoelectrons are emitted from the surface. So it simply means we just need to focus on photoelectrons emitted from the surface. So let's try to understand, let's try to sketch this one so we can see a clear picture of what is happening. So this is our piece of metal. You can simply imagine that this is a piece of metal and light is incident on this piece of metal. As it is given in the question, the wavelength of this light is lambda and light consists of photons. We can also draw this small box here to show that photon is a packet of energy of electromagnetic radiations. Now, as in this question, simply we need to focus on emission of photoelectron from surface. So we can also draw these small circles to show that these are electrons at the surface. So as these photons are absorbed by these electrons, so one photon will give all of its energy to one electron. This is one to one interaction and as soon as this photon is absorbed by this electron, electron will be released from a certain atom. So electron will use some of its energy to release itself from the atom and the remaining energy of electron will become its kinetic energy. As electron is released from the surface, so this is the maximum kinetic energy possible. If we use this light and we have this metal, so that will be maximum kinetic energy possible. In question, they are using E max. Actually, this is kinetic energy maximum of photo electrons. So in this case, let's try to understand a little bit in a proper way. So first of all, we have photon. So photon, photon has certain energy. Uh, we can say photon energy. First of all, this is used to release electron from a certain atom. So this is the minimum energy and this is called work function. So we can also write down here. Uh, this is work function, minimum amount of energy required to release electron from a certain atom or from certain metal and the remaining energy is converted into kinetic energy of photoelectron. So this is kinetic energy of photoelectron. Kinetic energy maximum of photoelectron. So here we have photon energy. So this energy photon gives all of its energy to single electron and single electron first of all use some of energy to release itself from the metal or from a certain atom and remaining energy become its kinetic energy. Now in this case we have to use principle of conservation of energy and we need to write an equation. So let's try to write down an equation now. So first thing we need to understand what is photon energy. If the wavelength of light is given to us, we can simply write down that is at C over lambda. Uh, work function is already given to us. Kinetic energy maximum. So this is simply we need to use symbol E max. 
we can simply write down here that energy of photon this is equal to work function uh, plus this is equal to kinetic energy maximum of photoelectron question is also asking us explain any other symbols you use mean other than these three symbols these quantities if we use any other symbol we also need to explain in question lambda is given to us phi is given to us e max is also given to us but we use these two new symbols we also need to tell what are these symbols Planck's constant so this one is uh, simply Planck's constant so we have to write down what is this H and the C this is speed of light in vacuum uh, this is also constant so this is speed of light in vacuum we also need to explain this one if we have written all these things we will get two marks this is all what you need to explain for part A. For part B, the variation of 1 over lambda with E max is given. E max is given on y axis and this is kinetic energy maximum of photoelectrons. On x axis, we have 1 over lambda and this is wavelength of light, means incident light. So this is wavelength of light. Question is simply asking us, we need to use our answer in part A and we need to explain why the gradient of the line does not depend on the metal surface. Why are simply we can say why this gradient is constant for different metals. Now in order to answer this question uh, simply we need to use our answer in part A. Uh, in part A simply we have written that Hc means energy of photon. Uh, this is equal to work function plus this is E max kinetic energy maximum of photoelectron. Now we just need to rearrange this one. If we little bit rearrange this we can simply write down E max is equal to Hc times 1 over lambda and minus phi. This is work function. Now if we compare this one with straight line equation y is equal to mx plus c we will simply find out that gradient of this graph that is equal to hc we will simply say gradient is equal to hc m is the gradient and 1 over lambda this is x and y intercept negative y intercept this is phi and Emax is on Y. So this is all we have. So if we look at this one, we have gradient that is equal to HC. H is a constant. C is a constant. So these two are constant. Gradient is depending on these two constants. That's reason the gradient is constant for different metals. Now let's try to write down answer. So this is how we can write our final answer. Simply we need to write down that the gradient of the graph, this is equal to HC, H and C, they are constant. So that's the reason gradient is independent of metal surface. For this part, it is given to us that work function energy of sodium is equal to 2.28 electron volts and E max is zero, means the kinetic energy maximum of photoelectron is zero. This is also given to us. What we need to find out simply, we need to find out minimum wavelength we need to find. For this question, we need to use Einstein equations of photoelectric effect and that equation we have already discussed in part A. So we can write down again here that is equal 
equal to SC over lambda mean this is energy of photon and this is equal to work function plus kinetic energy maximum of photoelectron and in this question it is given to us that kinetic energy maximum that is equal to zero so simply we can say that HC over lambda this is equal to work function and what we need to find out we need to find out this lambda not means the minimum wavelength of incident light we have to find so in this case h is constant c is constant these we can find out from data table and phi is given so this is work function this is given to us but this is given in electron volt so we need to convert this one into joules first of all so this is a key point we need to convert this one into joules and then we can plug in values in this formula and we can find out lambda not mean minimum value of wavelength we can find out so you can see here i have done this question already and concept is quite simple one as i mentioned before e max is zero this is given in question so e max is equal to zero so this is over equation now and in this equation we need to plug in values work function energy that is given we need to convert into joules so we multiply with this one to convert this one into joules and and this is value of h and this is speed of light in vacuum and we can find out lambda naught lambda minimum